Platform holes can be cut into floors and ceilings using the hole and platform tool and then selecting the ceiling or floor option. A hole in a floor platform can also be accomplished using a room type of open to below. For this video, I'll focus on using a hole in platform tool and start with cutting a hole in the floor platform. A hole in the floor can be created either in a 2D or 3D view. The tool to create a hole in platform can be found underneath the build floor menu. You'll find both the hole in floor and ceiling platform underneath this tool. Let me begin by creating a hole in the floor platform. I'm going to click and drag to cut a hole through the platform. The hole in the platform might be a little bit easier to see if I toggle on the glass house view. You can use the CAD tools to create custom shapes for your holes. As I return back into the floor plan view, the whole platform I drew in the 3D view, you can see as I click and highlight it, I'm going to press the delete key. Using the CAD tool specifically for a circle, I'm just going to click and drag to create a circle. Then I'm going to go ahead and select the circle, come down into the lower edit menu. You'll see the convert polyline option. As the dialog opens, there are two options to create either the hole in the ceiling platform or the hole in the floor platform. The program will then open up the polyline dialog. It gives you the opportunity to make any changes such as the line style or a fill style or the label information for your hole. In the 3D view, you can see that the circle is now cut in the middle of this floor. Let's slide over and look at creating an access for a crawl space down in this area right here. I'll then move it into the closet. Let's go back into the build menu underneath floor and I'm going to create a hole in platform. Click and drag and as you're clicking and dragging before you release your left mouse button you can press the tab key and specify exact dimensions. In this case I'm going to go ahead and set it to be 24 by 18 for the access. Now as I move that in the closet, I also want to create a cover over the top of the hole. I'm going to actually do that in the floor plan view. I'm going to move down to the first floor, slide over. You can see the hole that was created in that 3D view. I'm going to go ahead and click on it, use the move handle, and slide that up into the closet area. Looks like I have room to create a slightly larger hole. So I go ahead and turn on my temporary dimensions and make sure that I get that exactly sized. I'm going to set it to be three feet and click on the other side and we'll leave that at two feet. The holes in the platforms are polylines. That means when you have a polyline these can easily be reshaped to any shape that you want by clicking on the handles and moving them to your desired shape. With this hole now sized I want to create a cover over the top of it. I'm going to go ahead and click on the hole. I'm going to use the tool called copy in the lower edit menu and then paste and hold position. Once I make a copy of it, I'm actually going to now convert that to a solid that will work as the lid or the cover for that. So I'm going to come over. I'm going to use the tool convert to a plain polyline that will convert it from a hole. Then going back convert it to a pie line and then I'm going to change it to a 3D solid. This will open up the 3D solid specification. I'm going to change the height of it to be one inch and then the elevation information from the floor. I'm going to set floor to top that will set it right on top of the floor at one inch and provide the cover. And as we look at this in the 3D view, I'm going to go ahead and toggle the camera back on to the standard view. We'll go ahead and tip and look inside the closet for this crawl space access. You can see that the cover is a different material and if I just use the material eyedropper I can then spray that over the top of it. In the floor plan view I can then go in and spell out that this is a hole in the platform for the crawl space access. When you create a floor or ceiling platform the program will automatically frame around and box in that platform as you can see in this image here. Creating a hole in the ceiling is a very similar process. I'm going to do that from the floor plan view. Go ahead and zoom out. I'm going to slide over into the garage area and I want to create a attic access panel in the ceiling underneath the build menu. Come down to floor and this time I'm going to choose 
pole in the ceiling platform. I'm going to click and drag. Again, I can press the tab key before I release the mouse to be very specific. And in this case, I'm going to go ahead and put in 80 inches by 36 inches for that access panel. And then I'm going to use the camera tool, point and click, and take a look at this hole in 3D. And then if we kind of tip the camera up, you can see that the ceiling material has actually followed the underside of the roof. You can open up the individual roof plane and on the structure panel, remove the check mark to use room ceiling finish. And then the program will omit that portion of the ceiling. If you want to put an access panel over it, repeat the same steps that we did for the floor access. You might also browse out to the library and find one of our egress libraries you can download from the 3D library specifically for attic ladders. And then when you find the attic ladder, just come over here, place it maybe in the floor plan view or in the, the 2D view to get an attic access. You'll find a few of those in the library either folded up or fully extended like the one I just placed. That wraps up this video on platform holes. To learn more, please see the built-in help file as well as our other videos. Thanks for watching.